We end tonight with our most distant planetary neighbor. This image from the Hubble Space Telescope was for a long time the best view we ever had of Pluto, mostly just a dot in the dark. But a NASA spacecraft is about to open up this unknown world with the first close-up of Pluto. Here's Chip Reed. In January 2006, the fastest rocket ever launched sent a spacecraft the size of a piano on an extraordinary mission. This animation shows it cruising at a staggering 31,000 miles an hour. It passed Mars, then Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And this Tuesday, after nine and a half years and more than three billion miles, New Horizons will finally reach its target, Pluto, the mysterious dwarf planet. We are really making history and you don't get to do that very often. Alan Stern, the mission's principal investigator, calls it the Mount Everest of planetary exploration. New Horizons is the last train to Clarksville. It's the last picture show, and in the rest of our lives, I don't expect that we will see another mission to big real estate that has not yet been explored. A few months ago, New Horizons photos showed Pluto as a fuzzy blob. Now they show inexplicable splotches of color, which excited scientists are already giving nicknames. This one is the whale, and this, they say, shows that Pluto has a big heart. It will take four and a half hours for Tuesday's photographs traveling at the speed of light to reach mission control at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab in Maryland, so we won't see them until Wednesday. For Stern, the wait is excruciating, but he says it will be worth it because New Horizons will be just 7,800 miles from Pluto and the photos will be hundreds of times clearer. The basic rule is expect the unexpected. Exactly. That's, that is the lesson of planetary exploration. Or the first missions to Mars, they didn't expect to find craters and river valleys, but they did. Stern is making no predictions about Pluto. When I'm asked what I expect, I expect to find something wonderful. Yes, in this time of global conflict, America will soon get to share something wonderful with the entire world. Chip Reed, CBS News, Washington.